Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about some sign-in option on your Windows 10 machine that you might not be taking advantage of. Okay, so normally when you sign into your PC, you're probably using a password or even a series of numbers, like a PIN number I should say, to sign into your computer. But there's some other ways that you can sign into your computer if the laptop or the computer is equipped with the necessary equipment. So that's what I'm gonna cover right now. So let's go over to your computer and then we're gonna go into settings. Once you get into settings, we're gonna type in sign in options. And there it is on the list. Once you get to the screen that says sign in options, here are the ones that you can choose from. So you can do Windows Hello. And some devices are already set up that way. If you're using it, then you already know about it. But if you haven't heard of it, Windows Hello will let you use your webcam to sign into your devices. So all you have to do is just hold your face in front of the camera once you set it up, and then you'll be able to sign in with just your face. The next option on the list is Hello Fingerprint. Windows Hello Fingerprint. Now your equipment would have to have a fingerprint reader. Just like my laptop, it has a fingerprint reader so I can use it to unlock my device. If yours doesn't, then you cannot use this option. Only other way to use this option is if you buy an external fingerprint reader and plug into your USB port to take advantage of that feature. This is a feature that you usually see on your smartphone. This feature can also be used on your Windows machine if you have the necessary equipment to take advantage of this feature. The next one on down the line is Hello Pin. So you can set up a series of PIN numbers to log into your machine. It also lets you sign into apps and other services. The fingerprint will allow you to do the same thing with the apps and services and also Hello Face. So Hello Face will let you sign into apps and Windows services. So all three of those features are your recommended option according to Windows. When you go down to the next one below the Hello PIN, then you have Security Key. Now the security key is something you would have to purchase separately to a retailer as a computer accessory. The security key is usually something that you use to log into a particular application. Places like government agency or some companies might require you log into the computer using a security key just to have that extra level of security. But like I said, that's something you would have to purchase separately and set up. A regular user probably won't need that security key feature. You just choose from one of those top three. Now, if you want to go old school, the next one down the line is password. So this is your old fashioned password feature that you would use yellow cat 22 or whatever password that you use to sign into your computer. But that's less secure on that list. And that's why it's pretty much close to the bottom. The top three is the more secure way because your face is your face and it's not a picture of your face that you can use to log in and then your fingerprint is your fingerprint, and then the pin can be a series of numbers that nobody will know besides you. So the next one below the password is picture password. Now with the picture password, what that's gonna do is pop up a picture on your display screen, and then you're gonna circle an area of that picture that you would like it to be your password. And that's how you would log into your system and apps and services by circling areas on the picture to log in. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you use the picture. And if you're gonna use the password, the one above it, make sure you use a really secure password. Don't just put yellow cat. Put yellow cat, a pound sign, a dollar sign, some numbers, some uppercase letters, some lowercase letters. Just mix it up to make it harder for somebody to get into your system. And not just somebody that's close to you. It could be somebody on the internet, a hacker for instance. So those are the sign-in options that's available to you that you're probably not taking advantage of. You're probably just using one or two of these things, you know, like the fingerprint, maybe the pin, or the hello face if it asks you to do that when you first purchase the system. But you do have different options here that you can choose from, and that's what I wanted to point out. If you scroll down, there's some required sign-in. So therefore, you can require the system to sign in every time it go to sleep, and if you don't want to keep signing in because it's your system and you're the only one to access it, then you can choose never. So those are your options. I would recommend that you would not use never because you want to make sure that your computer go to sleep if you don't want somebody to access your computer while you're not around. Now, the last one I want to talk about is dynamic lock. 
with the dynamic lock feature, you can pair your smartphone or your tablet to the computer. And then when it gets out of range, it will automatically lock your system. So as long as you have your smartphone with you or your tablet, and you walk away from your laptop or your desktop, depending on how you have this thing set up, then what's gonna happen is, it's gonna automatically just lock your system. So, like I said, there you have it. These are sign-in options that's available in settings. So if you wanna mix things up a little bit and you wanna sign in in a different way, like using your face, for instance, to unlock your system without typing in a password because the system is automatically gonna recognize you once you have your webcam open. Now, to take advantage of that face unlock, you have to make sure that your camera is not covered. So if you have one of those webcam that has the shutter to turn off the camera, you gotta make sure you turn it back on. If you have tape over your camera, you gotta make sure you take the tape off because that's the only way it's gonna work. And the fingerprint feature, like I said, has to be built into the laptop or you can purchase a fingerprint reader separately to take advantage of that feature. All right, so you choose one of the top three the face or the fingerprint, and the pin is next. That's the ones that Windows recommend that you use versus the other ones on the list because those are the three that Windows recommend that you use to sign into your system. Now, for me, like I said, I would choose either the fingerprint or the face unlock, but I kind of like the fingerprint unlock more because I can just swipe my finger, unlock the system, and I don't have to worry about trying to enter in a pin because that's the way I'm used to unlocking my smartphone. So it's just naturally easy to just use the fingerprint to unlock. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for taking the time for watching. If this information was helpful to you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.